This is a quote by Jennifer Weiner. Divorce is not such a tragedy. A tragedy is staying in an unhappy marriage and teaching your children the wrong things about love. My name is Jenny Washira, a counseling psychologist and also a divorce recovery coach. I am the founder of Sadref Africa. This is to welcome you to our show. This is my story, whereby we get to share real and candid conversations about our life's experience. You will get to hear amazing stories from people who have gone through divorce. Remember, don't allow your past experience to define your present and your future. Broken crayons, steel color. How are you, Christine? I'm fine. I'm good to see you, Jim. Karibu, karibu sana. Yeah, to our show today. Yes. Yeah, this is my story. Yeah. We welcome you. Yeah. Yes, and perhaps we can get to uh, get to know you. Just introduce yourself. Okay, thank you for the invite, Jenny. It's a uh, it's a beautiful morning, and I'm I'm so happy to be here. Um, my name is Christian Kemuto. I refer myself as Christian Kemuto. I am born again. I am I'm now navigating through a uh, divorce, and I, am, I work as a healthcare practitioner. Something I've been doing for the last 13 years. That's my my area of operation. And they basically, yes, uh, that's who I am. I'm a firstborn, uh, yeah, I'm a sister, many other things. Wow, yes. ah, that's nice. Yeah. And uh, good to know you on a deeper level. Mm -hmm. And I know there's something that you have mentioned in your introduction mm -hmm. uh, about your status and you said you're, you're divorced. And mm -hmm. perhaps just to let us understand how you got there. I got there. Uh, you know, marriage, marriage is, it, it, it's a gift from God. And we go to marriage, uh, Jamie, knowing that uh, we are going to make it work. We, we are going to, to have these uh, blessings coming up, Ooh. family, grow, growth in all aspects. But sometimes uh, it doesn't go the way we planned. And uh, things happen. We, I can say that I had um, a, a beautiful marriage, even though with challenges that came up, that now made me, there are things that happened that made me now, uh, like, choose myself. Mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, if I may put the word of God, in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, God said that he knew us before we were, when we were in our mother's womb. Mm -hmm. He appointed us, he chose us. So there's the aspect of individuality. Even as you unite and become one, there's an aspect of individuality. Mm -hmm. And when you see that your marriage, now in my case, that it was not aligning to the purpose of God for my life, then I knew that it is okay to let go. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I, I did uh, file for divorce mm -hmm. and here we are today. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, amazing, amazing. And good to understand that. And I'm trying to think, you know, being in that space, it comes with uh, a lot of challenges. Perhaps what are the uh, challenges that you can mention that you've been going through in that space of divorce? Oh, the challenges that I've been going through. Um, divorce is a process mm -hmm. and um, it takes, the separation takes a lot of detachment. You had a certain ecosystem, mm. uh, family, friends, a way of doing things, you know, certain goals together. So the challenge now comes that now after separation you have to detach, you have to, mm. to lose some aspects of, of relationships. One of the challenges is knowing that and, and being okay that some friends 
may not walk with you the rest of your journey. Mm. Some friends were friends to you as a couple. Mm. And now that you're separated, that changes. Mm. And it is, uh, we tell you realize that it's okay when people take sides because everyone has loyalty to who they choose, either to me or to my husband. So one challenge I got is that I had to accept when I started losing some friends. Mm. I had to accept when, because the, the physical environment, mm. you have to start being in a new space, adapting to trying to rebuild yourself, put yourself together in a new physical space. So the aspect of just uh, the, the detachment from even the location is a big change in one's life. Uh, family, you know, family also it's it's a big deal. When you when you get married, you married to a family, mm. and um, I didn't know the, the the magnitude of this decision until you just now experience it. You it's when you realize that. Divorce does not only affect you, mm. it affects the family as a whole. Mm. There are people, you had yes, your own uh, values and expectations, but the, the family also, maybe they had their own picture of what they're, they're, they're envisioning this marriage to be. Mm -hmm. So, uh, families get hurt, and uh, a lot of, uh, the challenge also is most of the time is trying to tell people why did it happen. Mm -hmm. And how I'm doing that is I'm more focused on going forward, it has happened. Mm -hmm. I don't want to focus on the rare mirror, you know. Mm -hmm. I have to look forward. Now that mm -hmm. it has happened, how do we move forward? So now I'm building new uh, friendships. Mm -hmm. and, uh, also, as you understand, each phase of life you have different goals and, and, and there's a direction of way. So I'm looking on working with uh, friendship, uh, uh, new friends, friends, church, my church shifted, I, I had mm -hmm. to change church, mm -hmm. which is a key aspect for me because I, I, I thrive in prayer, I thrive in, in spirituality mm -hmm. and all that. So to me it was really an area, I, I sought God so much to just, um, in this navigation, it's an area of that. So those are the challenges. Um, and the other thing is now knowing who you are as a person mm -hmm. and redefining your values, mm -hmm. your goals, mm -hmm. where you're going. So mm -hmm. that's where I am and, and, and I'm glad. That's wow. It's yeah. amazing. It's amazing to hear the challenges that comes with divorce. And perhaps I'm concerned to ask, eh? uh, do you have any regrets for the decision that you made? Of stepping out. Of stepping out. Mm. No. Mm -hmm. No. I, I do not have a regret because personally, I I took. Uh, I think it took measures mm -hmm. to see how best I could uh, make my marriage work. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said again, and, and and for me, I have to say works for me. Mm -hmm. I am a prayerful person. Mm -hmm. I am a church person. And I, 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 I took a lot of time in my marriage to pray for my marriage, to fast and pray for my marriage and to seek God's will for it. Mm -hmm. And I also took to therapy. I mean, I, I went to to individual therapy, I went to group therapy as you already mm -hmm. did. So it's mm -hmm. something that I really put a lot of work into mm -hmm. because I didn't want, and, and, and one reason why I didn't want it to be not aligned to maybe what God wants for my life. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know the word says that God is divorced, but you see, God also is not unjust to hate the divorcee or to let you stay true, true. in a place you cannot leave your purpose. Mm. Because it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a decision that I made for for myself. Mm -hmm. So I, I do not feel guilty to say that mm -hmm. this time mm -hmm. I chose myself wow. and I had to honor myself mm -hmm. by moving and putting myself in a place where I can fulfill what God has for me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. I like the approach and uh, I would want to know what motivates you each and every day you wake up, what motivates you to keep on going? What motivates me to keep on going? Oh, um, 
Prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer. Uh, my, what motivates me to keep going, Jamie, is knowing that there is more than marriage. Hmm. Marriage is beautiful. By the way, I'm looking forward to her. Wow. To have marriage again. <laughs> I, love, I love people. I love being loved. I love giving out love. So what motivates me is knowing that there is a purpose other than marriage. Mm. There is a purpose. Uh, and I still refer to the same word of God, that God knew before you were in your mother's womb. He had a purpose for you. And there is so many promises of God which you need to fulfill as a person. Marriage is the gifts. Mm. But there are other promises of God. There is purpose. The ministry you're doing, Jenny, mm -hmm. this is a big deal. Mm -hmm. This is a big uh, pillar in the kingdom of God. So there's so much more. So I decided, well, what motivates me is knowing that there's so much more purpose God has for me. Mm -hmm. And, things and promises I need to fulfill, mm -hmm. including marriage, yes. Mm -hmm. So that motivates me because I need to do other things where God is taking me. The second thing, as I said, what motivates me is just honoring yourself. Because also you, you are, when you honor yourself, honor is a big word. It means you have to, you owe it to yourself to... To, to to be happy, mm. to yourself to be better, mm. to grow, and uh, and uh, and you need to yourself to work on yourself. So you need to get up, you mm. need to get up and, mm -hmm. and keep moving. And also family and friends. I think it will be a disservice to just throw such uh, relationships that now you're not motivated, you're mm. going to depression and missing out on life's experience. Mm -hmm. So my motivation is just, I charge mostly in prayer. Uh, I'm, I, I realize I'm very introverted. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, I'm introvert. But I, I spend so much time having conversations with God just to recharge and each day learning uh, what is more, what is mm -hmm. more for me as a mm -hmm. person. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I heard you mention about uh, the support that uh, you looked for, you know, and I know it's very key to seek for support when you are in such a space. And one of the things that you mentioned about uh, seeing a therapist and also uh, taking divorce care program uh, for your healing process perhaps you can uh, let me know one or two things that uh, the help that you got from divorce care program allow me allow me also to celebrate you in this moment mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you've been handling divorce care program for many years and uh, and you've taken people through the journey of divorce and healing and it's a beautiful thing it's a ministry that i celebrate god for you so for me what divorce care did it gave me a safe space. Uh, first, it uh, it showed me that it's okay that mm -hmm. there are people going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. That you are not alone. You know, that was the first acceptance that uh, there are people who are experiencing what I am experiencing. Mm -hmm. And another thing that it did, just to bring into, in, to allow you to 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 be vulnerable, mm. to, to let out your emotions, because you know divorce, you go through many emotions, and and if you don't get this support, you can break, you can you can do, you know, you can totally lose it. So the support and just it being a pillar, a place that you can anchor to in the journey. Mm. It's like a blanket, you know, it's mm -hmm. cold. Like mm -hmm. you, you get some cover until your, your wound starts healing. So divorce care also brought out aspects that, are, that were blind to me because you get to go through different uh, dimensions of life and how those dimensions feed into marriage or take away from marriage. Mm -hmm. You get to understand how other, even your own personal uh, emotions uh, play into relationships, how your finances, how you handle things. Because now then you're able to get an overview and an objective uh, picture of your situation. 
So to me, divorce care did that. It was a support. It was a place, a safe space for me to be vulnerable. Mm. And it was also meeting people that have gone through uh, divorce. It helps my, my journey better. Mm. It actually did reduce my, my healing journey. Or I'm saying made my healing better and, and, and faster. And also learning the knowledge you get from it on how to handle different dimensions of life. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. really beautiful. It's something that I'm very grateful for. Wow, yeah. wow, amazing, amazing. And uh, also something you mentioned on um, prioritizing on self-care. Uh, and I would want to know some of the activities that uh, you are focusing on currently yeah. to take care of your mental, your emotional and your physical health. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that's a beautiful question. First, for my mental, um, I'm, 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 I'm reading, but mostly Christian books. Mm-hmm. I'm doing prayer and meditation. Mm-hmm. I am also choosing peace. I'm very intentional about peaceful situations. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting into arguments uh, that don't serve me well. I'm not getting into every battle or reacting to everything. You mm-hmm. know, reaction is the beginning of you affecting your emotions even in the first place. I'm also trying very hard, I must say truth, but I'm trying to do mindful eating. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to say that I have my vegetables and fruits and water in place. Of course, striving that balance between what quote unquote we call enjoying and eating healthy. Mm-hmm. I'm also doing so much. Uh, I'm keen on um, choosing the emotion to wear for the day. Mm-hmm. Like I wake up, uh, Jenny, and I'm like, um, today I walk in joy. So I can go to, to work or I can meet people and maybe they are coming with the energy of fights. So I am remind, I remind myself that today my garment was joy. Mm-hmm. And I'm going, I'm going mm-hmm. to train in the mud of mm-hmm. your anger. So I'm doing that exercise. Mm-hmm. It's something I need grace for, to be honest. Mm-hmm. It's something I need grace for. I'm, I'm just looking forward to to working on that. But I'm more keen on on eating just a balanced diet, choosing peace, prayer and meditation, walk a bit. Yeah, just a bit here and there. Wow, yeah. amazing, amazing. And even to, I'm really encouraged to know that even in your brokenness that you are taking the positive side of things mm-hmm. and uh, see even what you can do to make yourself better each and every day. And I think that's a very uh, good thing to hear from you. And I know uh, we have a number of people who will uh, watch this and you'd want to encourage them or just give them a word of wisdom. And perhaps you can even just look at the camera and give them some few tips that uh, have worked for you. And uh, yeah, talk to them. (laughs) So to encourage uh, people who are going through a similar situation of separation and divorce, and detaching from a key aspect of your life. I just want to encourage you that it's okay. It is okay to pass through this season. It is very overwhelming. It's an emotional uh, season and it's a process. So to encourage you just to know, first of all, it's okay to be in this season and to know that it's a process. Each day brings uh, new things. I encourage you to keep moving. I encourage you to uh, self-reflect and just go to the source. I always say that God has the blueprint for our lives. Marriage is one of the the aspects of, of, of life and success. But other things that you can be doing. And also to just tell you that God is a God of many chances, to be honest. If you like uh, to move into another uh, relationship, seek God, because God is blueprint for this. I encourage you to keep faith, to self-reflection and meditation, and just to know that it, the season will pass. As you, as you normally say, the storm runs out of the rain. So keep moving, child.
Wow. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Thank so, you much so much for I'm sharing so your life blessed. with us. I, I wish you all the best. And remember, broken crayons, steel color. Oh. Thank you. you. <laughs>